also known as Eat With Chunky. We finna make a real quick breakfast real quick and I got my special guest right here helping me this morning. I have Vato right here on the side of me, my side man, my sidekick. I got uh, my brother right here, my aunt. Yeah, the best uncle in the world. Um, So we're gonna cook real quick. We're gonna make you a quick chola breakfast. Y'all know how chola cooking goes. We cook, we get it done, we get it in. And that's it. We're not going to take a long time doing it either. So, um, also we're going to make beans out of the can. Okay? Don't judge me. This is chola cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge me. This is chola cookie, boo. Y'all don't judge a chola. Okay. Also, I'm a healthy chola. So, we're going to be making some good, healthy, nutritious breakfast. This is um, huevos con salsa. You can make these a, a lot of different ways. This is my way of making it. This is the chola way. Don't tell me nothing in the comments because I cannot stand when people in the comments say, like, you should have did this, you should have did that. Well, you should have <laughs> shut up. Okay? You should have shut up. Um, all right. So, yeah. this way, this way, <laughs> this way um, that I'm making it is the quick way. Um, you could also make it with a fresh salsa. You can make your fresh salsa, blend it up, pour it in the pan, do it like that. I don't do it like that because it takes too much time. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop everything up and I'm going to put it in the pan. But yeah, I also forgot to tell you that we're drinking some mimosas. We got some champagne. Yes. Just in case you're like, what are you drinking? We got some champagne and we got a lot of things going on right here. And um, orange juice. Okay, if you guys don't know what mimosas are. Okay. Um. Also, I'm chopping up tomatoes, zucchinis, onions, these small sweet bell peppers. And um, I'm also going to be putting in this uh, cilantro, garlic, and jalapenos, okay? Mm, mm. So I chopped up all the... You chop them? Yeah. Bob is going to help me because uh, he, he always helps me. You see vibes, um, holiday spirit, family, cooking, <laughs> we're all kicking it, cooking it. Cooking, kicking kicking it, it, and cooking it, you know. My brother loves the holiday yes, spirit. Yes, you know. He loves to bring the holiday spirit. Yeah, this is like an altar right here for... Are you move bangers bang bang right here? This is where it's going down. Everybody was buying lotto. <laughs> All right, I'm okay, sorry. you guys, I'm gonna be asking these motherfuckers some questions while I cook <laughs> I up. Keep forgetting to um, have a knife in around here. So, um, what is something that my audience, because my audience already knows about mm -hmm. my, my audience already knows me, and my audience already knows my brother, but what is something that the audience don't know about us? Okay, so that's what we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about today. I already oh you know what you gotta think about this because I don't know because we, we we don't know. Okay, my brother's gonna tell you something that you guys you guys don't know about him. Go ahead, bro. Tell them tell them what they don't know about you. Something to you know, to, to to let the audience know you a little bit better. Just a little bit better in case you didn't know. Don't let the don't let the nails confuse you, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> the pimp nails. I played I played I played high school football, you know. So oh, those are my high school big bad boy on heights, you know. Damn. Classic. Ball. I thought you gave me that big bad boy on fourth quarter motherfuckers. We're built Damn. different, you know what I mean? Fourth, I mean, I quarter. fourth quarter motherfuckers, you know. Only the fourth quarter motherfuckers know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I played high school football, so we're a little athletic, you know. We like to do the the, the sports, you know, baseball. Basketball, but yes, I played high school football. Mm -hmm. What else? So he played high school football. Where did you play high school football for? Uh, for Roosevelt High School, Big Bad Boyle Heights. Big you Bad Motherfucking Boyle Heights. Every day. No disrespect. I mean, I have most of my family on my dad's side went to Garfield, but I grew mm -hmm. up in Boyle Heights, so I represent the Roosevelt Rough Riders. You know, I know mm -hmm. we didn't take it this year in the classic, but yeah, I played. You know, high school football. My brother was a pretty boy in high, in high school. He was. Oh, thank you. you were really pretty boy. Boy. Hey, yo, all you were pretty the boy. fucking Boyle Heights bitches were like. Yeah. I didn't even know, like, people, when I when I lived over there in Boyle Heights, when I moved with my grandma, everybody knew me before I knew them. I didn't even know some of these bitches. They're like, you're Devin's sister, huh? And I'm like, what the hell were you, I bitch? Mean, with, that, with that voice, too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're Devin's sister, huh? Oh, shit. All the, all the ball hard bitches are like, <laughs> not just kidding. <laughs> you're Devin's sister, huh? Whoa. All like yeah. conniving and shit like. Yeah, no, because, uh, you know, the girls, you know, they were a little aggressive. Yeah, they were, they were aggressive. 
And Devin was real like, bitch, get away from me. Yeah, yeah. It had to be at the step farm. Yeah. I remember in junior wow. high, these wow. girls were grabbing me, wow. dude. Yeah. Like, walking down the hall, they're grabbing my ass, I'm getting fondled and shit. Yeah. 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 I was like the Justin Bieber in my junior high school. <laughs> you and, uh, you and they then. They couldn't contain themselves, you know? <laughs> Like, oh but they were aggressive, the little girls were. And how did they say it? Hey, you're Devin's, you're Devin's <laughs> sister, oh huh? Oh my god, yeah. Like, no, I, oh. I, I bitch, what? What? Like, what what's going on? What are you going to do to me? So I'm putting the onion in the pan, and I'm just letting that oil. Also, I use avocado oil. This is the oil that I'm using right now. This is from Sprout. Oh. It's really good. It's avocado oil. I don't use any other oil other than avocado oil or olive oil. So I would suggest you do the same, okay? Yeah, you know, this is giving me your OG vibes from your original video. Yes, like this is your like cookie, baby. Man, people don't fucking respect, dude. They don't even know, man. My sister's been doing this for years. Still move banging and shit. And I'm pretty sure they're going to say, you remind me of this YouTuber. You remind nah, me of that YouTuber. And, and Bitch, I did this shit first. Yeah. Bitch, I did this shit first, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so, you know, you know, I've been doing this for a while, but... Oh, yeah. O OG vibes, man. OG if you're an OG vibes. subscriber, you've been watching this shit. This, we're going back. We're, we're going retro holidays, putting the holiday spirit. Oh, my sister putting in work for years and not getting the respect she deserves and shit. Exactly, I feel not the same way. Not getting the respect she deserves. Yeah. We're gonna and start. I'm gonna be honest. Look, I know you're talking about uh -huh. your food, but I wouldn't. I thought it was weird when people were cooking and talking at, and telling stories at the same eating. time and, and eating. And you didn't see many Latinas doing it. My, my sister was the first one that I saw do it. And after you have all these people, and I, I don't even know who their names are, but all of a sudden you have all these move bongers and shit. Dude, and it gets annoying, bro. But my sister, she should get her props. <laughs> Five, how many years? You know what? I did how get many my, years? Uh, like six years, uh, I think. Six years putting in work. Yeah. You know what? And the thing about this is that you know when I first started, I did get my props. I got a, I got, I got some articles. I have articles. On there I you got, go. Accolades. I got some got accolades, accolades, some articles you know, on me. You know, Latina, articles. Latina doing yeah. it in the mukbang game. Scoring and shit, points, you know? fourth quarter, motherfucker. Scoring points. <laughs> Scoring um, points. You know that football, that football mentality. Yeah, that shit already got me all fucking <laughs> in the football. Concussions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna move on to Vato. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about something? Well, well, I wasn't well. High school? Yeah, well, people don't know no, about no, you. Not, oh, not, necessary, don't know about not, not necessarily in high school. Like you, you were a you belly could, dancer, tap dancer. What did you do in high school? Did you do uh, any sports? Like something that the audience don't know. Uh, hard to say. I tried sports. Honestly, I tried all of them. I was a skater. I was a skater. I fell down a lot. I hit my head a lot of times. I was a skater. That was one thing that I really loved doing. Skating. He was you a, were a skater, skater boy. dude. He you was a skater, skater boy. Dude? That, was that's a skater. unheard of. He was a skater boy. We grew yeah. up. Bato was a skater dude. He skated for a long Unacceptable. time. Unacceptable. You know what? There's guys that look like him did not skate. Bro. There's actually a video that one of my homies had got of me falling down off of a roof. I fell down, dude. I fucking fell down. I was one of those daredevil ones. I was one of those daredevil ones. Like I, I went on some stupid jackass shit yeah. like that, and I tried like big, big obstacles. Like I was like, fuck the small shit, yeah. fuck the flips. Yeah, I, I like the adrenaline. Yeah. I wouldn't do it back in the day. I wouldn't even get on a skateboard. I seen fools fall, yeah. break their arm. Yeah. For some reason, it would mysteriously yeah. hit their balls and shit. And I, that happened to me a lot. Fuck that it happened shit. happened to me a lot. Yeah, yeah. I was a couple of times. Yeah. I did, you know, you know. Is yeah, that I did the, like I did the, that? I did the, what do you call it? Um, Iron balls. Is that yeah. what you like them? Yeah. 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 So he was a skater dude, but people skater. don't understand because everything's homogenized. But back in the day, looking like him, it was unacceptable for him to be skating around if he didn't have long hair. But well, you know what made me stop skating? Skater. Okay, I'm going to tell you what made me stop skating. Is when one of my homies got beat up by a rollerblader. Oh, on roller yeah, oh there was beef. There was beef. There was. The rollerbladers and the skaters. Even right? now, Serena, but if you were like rollerbladers, did not get along with the skaters. It, it, it was beef. beef. And, you, and yeah. you, don't beef. Oh, you don't use the same. No. You don't use the same wax. Like you're like, hey, nah. I just put my wax nah. right there. Nah. Nah. Yeah, I, I remember they basically get down. And it became a fight. But what happened was. <laughs> My homie got beat up by a roller skater on rollerblades. Oh, yeah. That's embarrassing, yeah. dude. And, he got, and even me, I'm not a skater, but got, I wouldn't want to get beat up by a rollerblader. He got thrown in a bush, See right? See the intro. 
And I was like, yeah. And I was like, hey, you know, you're homeless. And you're like, like, help me out, dog. And I'm like, help me. Now you're on your dog. own. Me. You're on your own, own dog. It's a one on one situation, dog. Yeah. And you know it's like, you know what? I kind of scratched my head. It kind of like, what, the, Damn, what do I do? You know, buy a rollerblade. That's embarrassing. And, then, and then, you know, like, word's going to get around, like, oh, they had to jump a rollerblader. <laughs> nah, that's not cool, dog. Hey, that, that rollerblader was a legend. He was a rollerblader. <laughs> <legend. laughs> he, he took he, down the uh, And it was crazy, though, because, like, he was on, just picture this, he was on rollerblades, so his balance, like, he was. <laughs> He was wait a minute, wait a minute, time time out. I yeah, thought he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minute, time out. I thought he took his roller no, blades up to, to he was the... on them and he was boxing them, boom, boom, yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah, and my homie yeah, had his shoes on, right? He had the Osiris on, so he thought he only said this shit in like Circus Day Ole shit, dog. Dog, dog. He, he got his shoes on Circus Day Ole. Okay. So that made me stop. Where we're at, um, I have all the vegetables in here. I have the tomatoes, zucchini. I poured in some cilantro while you guys were talking. Um, onions. Uh, bell peppers, that garlic, good. anything that you have in your kitchen that you like that are vegetables, you can put in here too. Uh, I'm getting what we're doing is, oh, I put a lot of tomatoes in here because what we're trying to do is we're trying to make the tomatoes, like the juices come out with so the tomatoes. Mm. Mm. That looks really good, I mean... You just gotta be here. It doesn't give it justice just looking it at it. It smells so smell, good. Y'all know texture, how. The texture, the taste. And so, she just did a vegetable roll call, like all of the zucchini, onions, mm -hmm. tomatoes. Like, yeah, that's a roll call right there. Uh. If you can see how this looks, it looks so good. It looks, Beautiful. it's making a salsa. This is this is the salsa, right? Yes. Here. So you can make yes. a salsa or you can make a salsa in the pan. Okay. You know what? I gotta get a little bit of video of this view. Ooh. Yeah. There you go, the steam, uh, mm -hmm. spirituality. So this is gonna get a little thick. You see the juice? And then we're gonna pour some water in there. So we're gonna let it cook a little bit. And then we're gonna get some water going in, up in there. A little something, you know, a little something, something. So, hey, but we seen, we seen uh, Okay, uh, so now I'm gonna, um. Put some water in here. Yeah, We're gonna put some water in here. Oh, what up? Where did you put it though? In the freezer? Uh, We're gonna mix it around a little bit and then, um, I just want to thank my sister for cooking, you know, home cooking is, is nothing like home here, cooking. Down here so we could, and uh, then we're going to put the top beer. on it and we're going to let it, um, down that. We're going to put the top on it for a little while and just let all of them make like a little vegetable salsa mm. soup. Marination. And then the marinade. water is going to simmer down and it's going to get a little thicker. And then when it, once it gets a little thicker, that's where we're, when we're going to crack the eggs mm. in it. Orale, We're going to put some eggs up in there. Ooh. We're going to crack the eggs in there, okay. put the top on, and let it cook like that. I'm getting hungry. And then, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. well, I already know what's up with this. That's mm. I'm getting hungry. I already can taste it. Mm. <sighs> well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Uh, to I'm gonna, continue. I'm going to pour the uh, beans in the pan. This is the pan I'm going to use real quick. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do because it's going to take a little while. So I'm going to fast forward. I'm gonna pour the beans in the pan. I'm gonna put a piece of garlic in there and I'm gonna put a jalapeno in there. I'm not gonna cut it. That's just for a little bit of flavor. And that's it. And I'm, they're gonna boil like that. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do. That's it. Okay, we'll be right back. Mm. Oh, you wanna hear this though? Yeah. Yeah, you wanna hear this. See how it's making a salsa, bro? Yes. There's one thing hearing that you smelling is a whole different smell of vision. Well that's the next that's the next thing right there. Smell of vision. So we're working on <laughs> Oh, you wanna get the bean too? Percolating? Let's get it Let's do it. <clears throat> you wanna get the beans? Okay, so here's the beans. I put jalapeno in there. I also added um some chicken bouillon garlic salt and just a little bit not too much because these beans are already a little bit salty so 
So you just want to add a little bit of garlic flavor rather than like salt. That's it. Just let them cook up. Yes. Welcome back to uh, Martha Stewart's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we got some more mimosas Thanks. here. We have. Um, this one? Same one, but that's the best. This one's strawberry. So this is the same champagne we drink, but strawberry and mango. No, juice. no, no, it's uh, pineapple. Pineapple, strawberry and pineapple juice. The first most mocha we had, we had um, orange juice. Orange juice and the regular dry, extra dry. I'm already buzzed. Ooh, wait, wait. Bomb. The first champagne was extra dry Andre. This is this is fucking delicious. This wow. is strawberry Andre. Strawberry Andre. Three strawberry three. with pineapple. Strawberry. Uh, holidays, with happy it. holidays. I with it. This is delicious, right? Mm. I fuck with it. Oh, like that happy birthday. Yeah, the uh, the, uh, the holidays. Uh, feel a little fuzzy. Mm. Mm. You got the bottle feeling fuzzy. Mm. I usually don't fuck with shit like this, but that's what it's I about, do. you know. It's all about the presentation, you know. So we got the uh, beans boiling. We have my salsa. My salsa is pretty much ready, mm. and um, I'm pretty much, bro. You want to get in here and see this? I'm gonna crack the eggs in there. Mm. It's hard wow, to do it. That's a beauty. Uh.
little setup right here of our breakfast. We're gonna have the boys try it, tell me what they think. And then I'm gonna tell you guys what I did when I was in high school that you guys might not know. I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know if I've ever said it before. I've, I've been doing this shit for six years, so I don't know how long, what I've said. But cheers to you guys. Mm. Oh, this is mine. Okay. Was mm. it hot still? Warm. Because yours I served first. I've been waiting since like 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. mm. My sister done did it again. Was, man, I never had something like this. It's like a. Like I was on Cheddar's, but mm -hmm. St. Benedict's yeah. kind of fusion. You did your own little mm -hmm. Chicanese fusion, you know what I mean? The yeah. Chicanese. I was in choir. What? <laughs> choir? Mm -hmm. So you had formal teaching. Because she has a voice, in case you guys didn't know. You know, it's not just eating and cooking. You I'm multi-talented. You can sing, yeah. I can sing, sing you dance. You can crystal song. Nils just pulls his crystals, you know. Mm -hmm. That's all I need. That's I think I think for my brother. Um, the best part of waking up is holding your cup in the morning. And he was like, yeah. I was like, you can sing, sis? I was like, yeah, bro, I was in fire. And I, and I can't, and it's not that I would, because I was inspired to sing. Because I could sing with one choir. But it just happened that I was inspired to go for a little while, but I got kicked out because I was a troublemaker. You got kicked out? Yeah, I got kicked out because I was, I was always late. I didn't have good grades. Mm -hmm. I really loved choir, but the teacher was a bitch too. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching yeah, this. Helps. <laughs> From me casa to your casa. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Love you guys. I sounded like a commercial. That sounded this really good. Meal, <laughs> this meal literally takes 10 minutes. When I cook this meal on a okay. regular, it takes 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But I love you guys. Peace out. Stay chunky because chunky is beautiful. Chunky is beautiful. Um, peace out. Mm, peace out.